to the channel my name is Ave Martin and I'm so happy that you joined me here today so today's video I have something a little different for you I have more so of a tutorial where I do a little talk over and this is going to be for a four tier faux wedding cake so normally I only offer two tier wedding cakes but this was for my best friend's sister's wedding. So I did go ahead and do this for her basically for free. I just charged her the um, price of the materials. Um, and that is all up to you and how you decide to structure your cake business. Um, whether you offer it as a gift or you give family and friends discount. I am a true believer in family and friend discounts, okay? But I did go ahead and just do this for her um, as my gift to her, and we just, she just paid for the materials and everything. So I'm gonna show you in today's video how I did this dummy cake. It's all fake except for a portion of the bottom tier um, where I put some cake in it. That way she can still have her cutting ceremony in those pictures. So if you like these type of videos, let me know down in the comment section if you would wanna see any more where I do more so of a tutorial slash voiceover walkthrough type situation. And I will definitely make sure to do more of them. Also, please bear with me with this video. The lighting is off because I did this super, super, super late at night. I got back home from vacation the night before the wedding which also meant that I had to deal with my almost two year old who was always up under me. So the only time I could take care of this was in the middle of the night. <laughs> so it was a long night, but it was also easy because it was a faux cake and I had everything prepared before I left. It's a really, really simple cake design. It's just all white with florals that match the color scheme of her wedding. So yeah, make sure if you like this video, definitely let me know down in the comment section. Give this video a like for me. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. I would love for you to join my little cake journey and I hope to be posting more often. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with showing you the materials that I use for the cake. I did use spackling for the top three tiers and real buttercream for the bottom one, as well as I purchased these matching florals from Amazon. And here you will see that I have the cakes that I baked before I left for vacation and I froze them. I'm just taking them out and letting them come to room temperature. Here I'm just showing you the type of spackling that I use and just the consistency. I really, really do like this spackling. Um, it is dag near just like buttercream. It's smooth, it's pliable. Um, it works just like buttercream. Almost looks like buttercream. So you gotta be careful. Make sure you don't lick the spatula or nothing crazy <laughs> because it is indeed just spackling. So yeah, I'm just showing you the consistency. And this is another alternative. If you need to practice your skills, definitely get spackling. Um, I feel like you're not wasting buttercream you know what i mean you're not wasting butter and powdered sugar you can just use this in dummy cakes to do your practicing so here i am hot gluing the same size layers on top of each other just to get that super tall look each layer is about four inches tall so when i stack them together they are about eight inches tall um, and i just like my cakes even when i'm baking real cakes i like them super tall that's my aesthetic so that's what i'm doing here and then one of the tiers i'm just going to leave as a single layer just four inches just to give a little visual interest to the cake okay so we get to the good part of icing the cake so if you've ever tried icing styrofoam cakes, you know that it can be a struggle because they are weightless. They just move around and tip over. So I found after a lot of trial and error, <laughs> I found that the easiest way for me was to actually put the cake on top of the non-slip mat, not a cardboard and then the cake. Like 
I set the cake directly on the non-slip mat and I put a super duper heavy, I think it was like a 32 ounce can of peaches on top so it would not move. Putting the icing on the styrofoam cake was actually the easy part. <laughs> the hard part was actually, um, you know, using the cake comb to smooth it out. You can't tell, but I am being so, so, so gentle when I am scraping the cake. And I'm holding on with my fingers to the slip mat to keep it straight and try to keep the cake from moving. I found this is the best way for me to keep the cake from sliding and moving around because of that spackling is kind of adhering to the non-slip mat, keeping it from doing too much shifting. And of course the can of peaches weighing it down. Now you're probably thinking, okay, but how do you get the top? And if you can see right here, I actually kind of came up with my own little method of applying the icing around the can so that keeps the cake from moving, of course. And then when I finished icing and smoothing out the entire cake, I remove the can um, from the center of the cake and I just fill in the hole where the rest of the icing was missing. I figured out this technique and what worked best as I got to the other tiers. So the first tier, I just decided to redo. And here I am just setting them off to the side, showing you guys what they all look like. They look so beautiful <laughs> and just letting them dry. And now that the cakes are at room temperature, I am just shaving them down, making sure they're even, and just cutting them up into small pieces. I thought I was going to make it go all the way down the entire cake, but like I said, this was in the middle of the night, you guys, so I was just over it. So I was like, hey, it don't have to go all the way down. We can just do it halfway, which only took two slices of cake, um, but that's fine. And now I am going to hot glue the bottom tier onto the actual cake board. And I'm going to cover up the exposed styrofoam with some white chocolate ganache. It was more runny than I intended it to be, but that's okay. Um, and then we're also going to um, put some actual homemade buttercream over top. I don't want the real cake to touch the exposed styrofoam, obviously for um, health and safety reasons, right? And so the entire bottom tier will be covered in American buttercream. And I forgot to show you, but I did mark on the cake where the bride and groom will need to cut. And now I'm going to assemble the whole cake Luckily, because it is just a faux dummy cake, we don't need any supporting dowels or a central dowel. We can just stack them right on top of each other. So I am just stacking them with a little bit of the American buttercream um, underneath them and just stacking them on top of one another. I do want to say that it is totally your preference on what you want to ice the cake in, whether it's some kind of faux buttercream like spackling or actual buttercream. I will say probably next time I will use like all American buttercream. That way I do not have to worry about color matching. Getting the buttercream to match that same white as the spackling took forever and a day. <laughs> Because I knew the cake was going to get thrown away at the end of the wedding, I just could not get myself to buy $4 butter to make real buttercream and ice the whole cake, you know? But again, do what you want. Okay, so this is how I have the cake so far. I'm going to finish the rest at the venue. This is in my husband's work van. Luckily, it's just a dummy cake, so it's not that deep. But yeah, and then I'm going to bring my bags. I 
have the florals. Oh, I need to get the hoop. And it has paper towels, scissors, extra cream, buttercream. Okay. Now I am just finishing up decorating the cake at the venue and adding the rest of the florals as well as the topper to the cake. But other than that, that is it. I hope you all found this video at least a little bit helpful, especially when it comes to decorating faux cakes. I hope you can take away some of these tips and tricks and apply it with your faux cakes. Again, if you liked today's video, make sure you like, comment, and give that subscribe button a love tap so you don't miss any uploads. Alright you guys, until next time, God bless.